Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of the Orchis Yosher, talking about this midah, this attribute of cast of anger, of how destructive it is to a person's life. And he writes, quoting a midrash, the Omru Hakas anger, Mesalik or it removes a person's eyesight. The anger and the frustration and the pain and everything that they are going through, it creates such a physical, physical detriment onto that person, it literally takes away their eyesight. But Armu further it says, Kol HaKoyes, anyone who gets angry, in Chachamu, if he's a wise person, his wisdom will go away. He can't remember anything anymore. Mim Novi, who if he's a Novi, a prophet, which means that the Shekhinah dwells with him, his prophecy is going to depart from him. And that's an obvious one, because the Shekhinah, the Divine Presence, is not going to dwell together with a person who is a Kaisen, who is angry. It doesn't make any sense. As we pointed out maybe in a, two days ago, Kas comes from a place of denying that there is a Rebbein Nisha'ilam. It re, it's a lack of recognition that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is running the world the way that he sees fit to best run it. And we think that we could have done a better job. And therefore when things don't go quote unquote our way, we begin to get angry. So certainly someone who is a Navi, who is a prophet, which means that the Shekhinah comes to rest upon him, to give him his prophecy, that is going to leave him. Even if he's in the midst of receiving greatness from heaven, which means in the heavens they look at this person as being a giant in spiritual prowess and greatness, and in, from the heavens, from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, they're giving him all of this stamp of approval, they will instead bring him down. He will lose the attributes and the status of being someone that is great. He doesn't deserve it anymore because of the cost. You could lose it all. A person could lose it all with cost. There's three places in the Chumash that Moshe Beinu came to the sin of cost of anger. And as a result of each and every one of the places where he became angry, he made grave errors, he made mistakes. And even Moshe, the greatest leader of all time, the one who was the Navi par excellence, the greatest prophet that ever lived and ever will live, the person who saved, who went in as a messenger to save Klal Yusuf from Egypt, and he brought us through the splitting of the sea. He made all the miracles and the signs and the wonders. When the Jewish people got into trouble, he davened and he prayed on their behalf. And Hashem listened to him. He guided them for 40 years through the wilderness, through thick and thin, when the Jewish people were behaving themselves. And even when we were not behaving ourselves, Moshe Rabbeinu was the emissary. He was the Evid Hashem, the servant of Hashem. And yet, even the great Moshe, when he became angry, it brought him to Taos, it brought him to make mistakes. And further, the Gemara says, Ragzon, also beyond the Nusai, an angry person comes away with nothing except his anger. That's it. You don't gain anything, you don't benefit. So what you got your way. You destroyed people, you destroyed families, you destroyed situations. So what that you were, got angry and you got your money or you got your articles or you got your possessions? So what? At the end of the day, you know what you really walk away with? Ragzanusa, you walk away with your anger. Here we have a lot more to see of the detrimental effects. And then again, of course, how we're going to begin to work on ourselves in the realm of anger so that we can remove anger from our very existence to live life in a peaceful and a pleasant and a giving, warm, loving way. Have a wonderful day.